I came from a musical family. My uh, parents are both pianists, so I didn't have much choice uh, when I started. And I grew up surrounded by my parents' students, and so I was surrounded by music. We immigrated from Uzbekistan to Israel when I was eight years old. So I, all my formative years were in Israel. Life was quite bad at the time when the Soviet Union collapsed. It was so chaotic and I remember going with my grandmother to um, get milk at like five in the morning and standing in line for two hours. It was just like stores with empty shelves. It was quite difficult for everyone. Most of our friends already left Uzbekistan at, at this point. This was early 90s. So my parents felt that Israel was, was the right place and, and it was an amazing thing to be 10 year old and going to hear Israel Philharmonic conducted by great musicians and, and great soloists. That exposure that I could never have in Uzbekistan. For me, I think for most musicians, when you play, time stops. It's related to meditation. Uh, I guess that's the easy, you, you become fully present. When I wake up, I usually go to the piano right away before I eat, before I make myself a cup of coffee. Uh, and sometimes I just improvise at the piano and let my imagination go. And then throughout the day, I, I just play whenever I don't do anything else. I don't mind practicing on, on uprights. And, and uh, I also practice quite a bit uh, without an instrument on trains and flights, just studying the score. Sometimes it's more helpful because you don't have the physicality of it and you can actually work on the ideal image. I feel like I've always painted. Uh, I don't know, when I was five or something. Uh, and I was... was a, always attracted to the physicality of, of the paints and the brushes and the canvas and the smell of oil paints and pastels. I, I, I liked it. And I never had an art teacher, and maybe it's a good thing. I, I would always, you know, copy the great masters. That's how I started. There are many parallels with music and visual art. The obvious ones would be sense of line and, and sense of color and textures and proportions and, and balance, structural things. You can visualize music in structures. I find it helpful to do that in the way I learn pieces. And in art, in colors, you have tonalities that relate to each other. So it's all related. But it's also very different because with music, you play a note and it disappears, and it's just, it just happens and goes away. And with with art, with visual art, it's it's more permanent. It's it's there. It's there to stay, and uh, it doesn't change. You change, but not the not the painting. I've been fooling around with composition. Since I was a kid, I always loved to write music and, and improvise. It's just another way to be a musician and to be an artist and to create sculptures and sound. And this is also what I love about composition is that you can come back to it. And there's so many layers, you know, there's so many sketches and for me, it starts with improvisation and just kind of throwing ideas spontaneously without thinking about, without analyzing. And then you start to analyze and, and 
finding connections in between the sketches, the bits, and finding threads and building, building up from, from that. Sometimes it happens fast and sometimes it takes so much time um, and you're just <laughs> full of frustration and, and uh, you don't know how to resolve the, the damn thing. Uh, but it's, it's so much fun at the same time. When it makes sense, you know it's finished. But a year from now, you look at it and you might want to revise it. <laughs> so you go back and you make revisions. When I first uh, pick up a new piece, I usually start with just playing it. And, um, without um, thinking or analyzing it too much. When I start getting the structure um, and when I kind of see the map of the piece, I concentrate on, on episodes in specific places, playing it in different tempos, also playing it very fast. Um, and just um, to kind of throw ideas uh, and, and um, at later stages uh, putting yourself in the in uncomfortable uh, circumstances when you don't feel comfortable um, is I find very useful in practice because when you go on stage, many things can happen. It's important to practice this. First, you have to imagine the sound. It has to come first from your imagination. And then you match that with the physical manifestation of, of sound. It's a lot of experimentation. You just try, try different things. You know, I have pieces that I've played since I was a child and these are always fun to come back to. It's, it feels like old friends. There are transformations of the piece throughout the years. It matures with you, hopefully. It's so fun to discover a new language, a new um, sound world. Uh, it's so exciting. I love the physicality of learning a new piece. After working on it, and it becomes part of your body, you know? I have uh, a feeling of anticipation before the concert. And the closer it gets to the concert, the stronger it gets. The audience has a huge effect on the performance in some ways, because, well, you play for the audience, you can't ignore that. You, you, you know, you do it for the audience. Well, yeah. here's our audience now. <laughs> but at the same time, the minute you focus your attention on the audience, it throws you off the music. And so I just, uh, I think I sh shut down everything and, and um, have a very narrow <laughs> vision of, of, and then just concentrate on the sound. Um, but in my periphery vision, I, I can sense uh, I can sense the energy of the audience. But you know, if you are completely focused and, and concentrated, the audience will be too. I find there is theatricality in music. You have to be a bit of an actor to bring this to life. Of course you have certain expectation that the audience will respond. And, you know, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Or, or maybe they, they respond in a completely unexpected way, which is great too. 
there's this common idea of music is something very serious and, and lofty and uh, you're not supposed to laugh but there's so much humor in music and uh, just like any other emotion I mean it's music can be really funny it's really nice when uh, the audience gets it and and laughs it's it's super fun you you, you feel like you <laughs> You did your job, <laughs> and uh, it's nice to send people off with a good mood. <laughs>